Untuk contoh yang pertama, untuk vertical case. Okey. Case yang pertama membincang tentang lift atau elevator atau mesin angkat yang tidak bergerak dia sedang dalam keadaan pegun. Okey. Bila mesin angkat di dalam keadaan pegun maka no resultant force acting on it. Bila no resultant force acting on it, Fc tengok raja, Fc iaitu tension of the cable equals to the weight of the lift. Dan dia punya pencutan juga adalah kosong sebabnya elevator tu atau mesin angkat tu tidak bergerak. So the upward forces must be balanced by the downward forces. Begitu. Kena ingat kes ini. Okay, itu kes yang pertama. Untuk kes yang kedua pula, untuk kes yang kedua pula, untuk lift yang bergerak ke arah atas, tetapi kali ini dengan pencutan. Satu meter per saat kuasa dua. Kes ni pula bagaimana? There is a resultant force in the direction of the motion. Bila lift naik atas, maka pencutan pun akan ke arah atas. Dan bila ada pergerakan dan pencutan, makanya ada resultant force. The force acting upward is now bigger than the weight. Betul tak? Kita ada dua forces, Fc ke atas dan weight ke bawah. Kalau elevator tu bergerak ke atas, mesin angkat bergerak ke atas, maksudnya Fc lagi besar daripada W. Betul, daya yang tarik ke atas lagi besar daripada daya yang tarik ke bawah. Daya tarik ke atas adalah Fc. Daya tarik ke bawah adalah W. Jikalau Fc lagi besar daripada W, makanya lift tu akan dinaik ke atas. So, the force applied by the cable Fc could be calculated using the Newton's second law. Fr equals to Ma. So, what are our resultant forces? Only two forces uh, uh, in this case, which is, they are the Fc, the tension of the cord, and the weight, W. Mass is given, 500 kilogram. Acceleration is given, 1 meter per second square. W is given, we could calculate from the W equals to mg. And G, the gravitational acceleration always negative in value because they are faced that going towards downwards to the center of the earth that is why we got w equals to negative 4900 newton so using simple math we got fc 5400 newton positive which means the fc is going upward see this is case number two let's go and see case number three so what happened if the lift moves at constant velocity constant the word constant is a clue Minta maaf saya akan cuba gunakan dua bahasa. Bukan rojak. Tetapi dua bahasa yang lengkap. Sama ada bahasa Inggeris yang lengkap ataupun bahasa Melayu yang lengkap. Okay. Saya faham ini adalah fasa peralihan anak-anak daripada SPM, dunia SPM ke dunia uh, Menara Gading. Kita akan cuba menggunakan dua bahasa yang lengkap. Baik. Now. Uh, all the forces are balanced. Okay. Whenever the velocity is constant, therefore... The acceleration will be zero. Remember, constant velocity, the acceleration will be zero. Uh, what happen if the acceleration is zero? Can you guess? Whenever the acceleration is zero, the resultant force will be zero. Why? Because resultant force F R equals to m a. If a is zero, therefore the result resultant force will be zero. So, Fc plus W will be zero. So, the force acting upward, which will be equal to the force acting downward. They will have the same magnitude but different direction. So, remember, even though no net force acting on the lift, but the lift is still going up because the cable is still being pulled by a motor. Kena ingat, ya? Ini kes yang ketiga. Kita tengok kes yang keempat. The lift goes up but decelerate at rate of 2 meter per second square. Deceleration means the acceleration will be negative. The, there will be the magn a magnitude of the acceleration but the direction of acceleration will be in the opposite direction. That is the meaning of deceleration or negative value of an acceleration. 
So the deceleration uh, direction is downward because a resultant force and causes a resultant force downward. Deceleration, resultant force, downward. Whenever the leaf is decelerates, it means that the resultant force is downward. It's going downward. Why? Because FR equals to MA. And if A is negative, therefore, our FR will be negative. This means that the force acting downwards is bigger than the force acting upward. Yeah, the, the, the elevator is still going up, but the acceleration is going down. Uh, when the acceleration is going down, it actually slows down the acceleration of the leaf, the movement of the leaf until it becomes stagnant. Lift tu bergerak ke atas, semakin laju semakin laju tiba-tiba dah nak sampai atas lift tu akan membreak. Bila lift tu membreak acceleration dia tarik ke bawah. Sebab itu bila kamu duduk dalam lift dalam mesin angkat, sewaktu so dia naik atas kamu rasa macam tertinggal perut kan. Ah, bila nak sampai atas tiba-tiba dia break, kamu rasa macam tertekan ke bawah. Bila lift membreak kamu akan rasa macam tertekan ke bawah, itu bermaksud acceleration dia negatif. Ah, dan lift tu akhirnya akan memberhenti. So, force applied by the cable FC equals to FR equals to MA. So, our FR is only FC and W. M is given 500 kilogram. A is negative 2 meter per second square. So, therefore, our W is negative 4,900 newton. Can we find FC? Yes. And therefore, we use a simple calculation. We got FC is 3,900 newton positive. It is upward. So, can you see? The W is negative 4,900. The FC is 3,900. Uh, the elevator is slowing down. Right. So, let's see the final case. Case number 5. What happened if the cable snap? Na'uzubillah. Minta sempang malaikat bawang lompat. Janganlah terjadi kat kita. When the cable snap? When the cable snap, the force that used to be acting upward is no longer present. Remember, for an elevator case, we have two forces available. One is W, the weight of the elevator that is pulling down the elevator. One is TC or FC, the tension of the, of the cord. Whenever the cable snaps, FC is no longer exist. So the only forces available is the W. Uh, and W uh, is uh, cor correlated with the gravitational acceleration so fr equals to ma we can use the newton's second law fr equals to ma fr is the resultant force fc plus w equals to 500 kilogram times a what is the a fc the tension the cord has snapped the cord has snapped Do, does it have any tension no the fc now is, is now zero w is negative 4900 newton Finally, we could get A is equal to negative 9.81 meter per second square. Uh, does it ring a bell? Yes. Our acceleration now is negative 9.81 meter per second square equivalent to the gravitational acceleration. It means that whenever the cable snaps, our elevator is going down with the speed, with the acceleration equals to the gravitational acceleration. And depend on the height of the, of the lift, it will determine whether we could live or die. Okay, those are five uh, cases, example of cases for vertical uh, motion. Now, for tutorials, there is one tip for tutorial. If we try to measure weight using a Newton scale inside the lift, the Newton scale will read the normal force. Remember this tip? The Newton scale will read the normal force in any five situations mentioned earlier. Now, we have tutorial after this. Make sure you remember this tip. Alright, see you.